Hi, my name is Josette and you're watching my hip spotlight. Well, um, my parents always told me, I don't know if we love your stuff because we're your parents or not. So you know what? Let's go out there, see what people say. And I started gigging when I was around like 10 years old and the response that I got from people was, it was incredible. And they were like, you have to get this girl in the studio. You have to get this girl to keep writing more stuff. And that's when we started, you know, recording my original stuff. And I was 12 when I had my first studio experience and it was awesome. I didn't grow up listening to, you know, a specific genre or, um, you know, specific music. I grew up listening to everything, you know, and I was inspired by everything. You know, the Beatles, Celine Dion, Mariah Carey, Taylor Swift, um, Ed Sheeran, Adele, absolutely everything. And um, I just like to put myself in another person's shoes when I'm writing. Um, everyone has problems, and that's where the song Problems came from. Um, I've never dated anyone, so I wouldn't know personally. Um, but, you know, I have tons of friends who have, you know, had exes and, you know, bad relationships. And, yeah, again, I just put myself in another person's shoes and just ask myself questions to truly, you know, understand, you know, how would I feel if he didn't call back the next day? Or how would I feel if he just slept in the middle of the date? Or, you know, how would I feel if he was out with another girl? Those are the type of questions I ask myself when I'm writing because I necessarily haven't experienced it, but I know other people have and I want other people to connect to my stuff. And also, um, my friends. I love my friends. Um, they are, in my opinion, the fan base. They are the people listening to music. So, um, yeah, I their, their opinion means the world to me. So when they say, oh my god, I had this, this song stuck in my head the whole entire day. I love your song. It's so good. You have to record it. You have to record it. You know, that those are the decisions I make based on them. You know, most videos take a few weeks, but I did it in a whole entire weekend because I didn't want school to become an issue. And it's just nonstop work, nonstop work. I think the only time I took a break was like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But besides that, it was makeup, different shots all the time. I had to like sing the song 10 times for one shot. Um, my parents running around like crazy, <laughs> my family running around like crazy, you know, producers and directors running around like crazy. Then I feel like if people like me for who I am, that's who I'm gonna stay as. I don't feel like I always have to, you know, change. Um, I, I do like to see progress with my songs. I do like each song to be better th than the previous one that I've written. So I do like to see progress in myself, but I don't ever feel like I have to um, change the way I act. I just think I just have to be myself. And I love my YouTube subscribers. They're absolutely amazing and they always motivate me to keep working hard. There's always enough time to do what I love to do. Always enough time. If I have to wake up at one o'clock in the morning because an idea just struck me, I'll wake up at one o'clock in the morning, run downstairs not to wake up the family, record the idea on my phone, go back to sleep and get to the song, you know, the next day when I have time. But I, there's always enough time to finish a song and create new stuff. It's what I love doing. When you love something that much, you always make time. <laughs>